Okay, hello. Uh, this is basically uh, part two of my quick uh, DOS box introduction. Um, I already have my C drive mounted in this case, and I was going to go over um, the DOS box configuration file, which is titled uh, DOSBox.conf, and um, I believe that file name persists across platform Windows, Linux, and so on. Um, I have a copy of it right here. I'm just going to display it very quickly and as you see the very last line is your basically your auto exec bat dot um, section and for those familiar with auto exec dot bat um, it's basically short for auto execution batch file and it was a system file in DOS and whatever was in the contents would um, basically start upon your launch of DOS so you can use it very um, usefully here uh, and mount your location automatically um, wherever your DOS files are located on your um, physical hard drive. <coughs> oh, sorry, I was about to fall into uh, Unix commands there. And also before I mentioned that there was um, a method to mount uh, CD image files such as ISOs or um, the, the dot .bin format and um, I'll go over that very briefly the command is img mount and it'll be D drive which is typical for CD-ROM drives and DOS and Windows and this is where you would type your local location and bear with me this is a slightly long path And the dash T is basically type, and this type happens to be an ISO. And there we go, we now have a D drive. And in particular, this game is um, I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. I think it was put out by a company called Cyber Dreams, if I remember correctly. Um, I actually bought this game in, I want to say, 1996 or around that. And um, I originally had played the demo of it um, that shipped with PC Gamer. And I just love the demo and ended up buying the game. I think it came with like a very flashy mouse pad that I still have. Um, I think it's actually still sold. Um, it's based on a short story by the author um, Harlan Ellison. And I think it's still sold through one of his websites. But it's definitely a very good game. Um, and why would you want to do this for a DOS game, you might wonder. Why would you want to mount a CD? Um, basically, when CD-ROM games started coming out and all the digital um, voice storage and all the movies and so forth um, were stored on CD-ROM and they weren't installed to the hard drive and they ran off the CD and uh, a lot of games took advantage of that. I can remember Gabriel Knight, the first one, um, had a full audio dialogue set that was on the CD and it added quite a bit to the game. Um, and of course this game, I have no mouth, I must scream, and various other ones like Return to Zork and so on and forth. Um, had a full CD of uh, audio dialogue added to the effect of the game. I'm going to exit here. Oops. It's a DC drive. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it for part two.